Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install an ad blocker to get rid of those pesky ads and pop-ups. Check it out. All right, now that we're over here at the computer, the question that you're probably asking yourself is what the what is the point of an actual uh, ad blocker? And an ad blocker goes into websites and will block different types of pop-ups or media elements, advertisements, etc., in order to make the page load a little bit quicker, but also basically kind of make it like a seamless or make it very uh, a minimalistic feel on the website. Now, now that we're over here at the computer, let's go through and find out exactly what an ad blocker is. And it's an extension that you can install on a browser that will go through and as you visit different websites, it's going to block advertisements, pop-ups, different types of media elements to kind of give the, the website a minimalistic feel and make it load a little bit quicker. Now, the downfall of adding a ad blocker to a website is if you have a website that you really enjoy, a lot of the times that they make a little bit of that income or some profit or revenue via those ads. So if you have a blocker on your website or on your browser that actually block, uh, blocks the ads from their website, they're not in generating any revenue, which could increase the, uh, the chance of them actually failing or shutting down the website. So we'll go through, I'll show you how to shut it down. But if you do have a website that you really enjoy and you really like, I would recommend keeping the ads or the advertisements on. That way they can have that revenue and actually be able to uh, afford or fund that website for it to continue moving forward. So uh, again, we're at the computer here and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Google Chrome. It's the simplest way to do this. And I'm gonna, first I'm gonna show you how to install the ad blocker. And then I'm gonna show you kind of the difference between uh, what happens when it's on versus what happens when it's off. So let's go ahead and get started. Best way to do this is go ahead and open up Google Chrome and it's gonna take you to whatever homepage you have. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of before of what the advertisements when they're on the web page and et cetera. So we're gonna go over to a perfect example is weather.com. And you can see that it's going to load and then it's gonna on the sides here, it's gonna load different types of advertisements. Uh, usually it loads one right here at the top as well, but you can see right underneath it, it says advertisement. Uh, let's see if there's any more on here. Yeah, there's the one right up there at the top for another advertisement. You've got some more advertisements here on the side. So this is what the website will look like without the ad blocker installed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to install the ad blocker via the Google Chrome Web Store. So what you're gonna want to do Go ahead and open up. You can just go ahead and in Google search uh, ad blocker. The one that I specifically use is called uBlock Origin right here. And then you can see if you just type that in, Google search it right here at the top, you've got uBlock Origin from the Chrome Web Store. Left click on that link. It's gonna bring you to this page and then you're gonna wanna click the little blue button up here that says add to Chrome. We're gonna click add to Chrome. And then we're gonna also gonna click the button that says add extension. Now, after that installs, it's gonna go through, it's gonna check, it's gonna update. You'll notice it's gonna pop up something on the top right-hand side. You don't have to worry about uh, signing into anything. If you do have an account, you can sign into it and that will sync it across all your devices. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna leave it as is and click the little X. Now you can see that we've got uBlock Origin up there in the top right-hand corner. So let's go back to the Weather Channel and actually take a look here and you'll notice if we reload, all of those advertisements are gone. The one on top's gone, the one over here on the right-hand side is gone, the ones that were filling up this space are gone, and you can see that it's gone through and it's basically taken out any advertisements, which again will help load the website faster, but they also aren't gonna generate any type of revenue because you're not clicking on those ads, there's nobody viewing those ads. So if you do again have a website that you enjoy, say the Weather Channel, we really want it, we want it to continue moving forward, if you come up to the little uBlock Origin icon up here, and to turn it off, you're gonna left click on this blue disable button, a little, little blue power button, and it's gonna disable the uBlock for this site. Now this won't do it for every site, it's just specifically for this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna left click on that. You'll notice the blue button will turn gray, and it will give us a reload icon that we're gonna reload button that we can click on. It's gonna reload the weather channel, and you'll notice that the advertisements again will start filling the blank spaces like they were before. So again, if you do have a website that you really like and you really wanna continue funding them or giving them revenue, what you're gonna to wanna to do, come up to the uBlock origin and turn it off specifically for that uh, website and that will whitelist it. Now say what happens if you wanna come back to the website that you originally turned it off and you wanna turn it back on because you don't really care about that website anymore and you just really want, you don't want the ads. You don't want any, you don't wanna be bothered by anything same process come up to the little uBlock origin you'll notice when they when it's off for the website that uBlock origin 
itself is actually grayed out. So you're going to left click on it again, left click on it to turn it back on and then click on reload. And what it's going to do is it's going to remove those ads from that page. Moving forward, the last thing that we want to look at is say that you don't even want the extension or the U block on the actual computer or the browser anymore at all. Very simple process. Come up, right click on the icon, left click on remove from Chrome. It'll get, basically give you a prompt again. Go ahead and click on remove and boom the extension is now gone. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video, if you found it useful, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.